Which actress almost didn't make it to her audition? Which two stars got married on set? And who was supposed to play Samuel instead of Itzan as Camilla? Hi, I'm Janet, and today we dive deep into all the secrets of the Elite production. And be prepared to hear some predictions about season 4. Number 1. Under as Samuel We all know 23-year-old actor Aaron Pieper as Under, a student in Las Encinas who falls for Omar and regales the international audience with the one and only Omandership. But did you know that Piper actually wanted to play Samuel? The production crew really enjoyed his acting, but offered him a different role instead. In an interview, Aaron said, The first two castings I did were for Samuel. Then they called me and said, You strike us more as an Ander. They said to come on in, and that's where I met Omar, without knowing much more. Fans were very happy with the final cast, and kudos to the casting directors, who found the perfect fit for our favorite lovebirds. Number 2. The Money Heist Cast basically lives in the Elite universe. I wonder if there's a scarcity of actors in Spain, because I can't find any other valid explanation why these two shows share their cast. Maria Pedraza, Jaime Lorente, Miguel Hernan, all appear in both Netflix series. Wow, how easy and fun work would be if your co-workers were your real-life besties. Prior to portraying rebellious schoolgirl Marina in Elite, Maria Pedraza had a supporting role as Allison Parker, one of the two hostages in the first season of Money Heist. She played along with the two leads, Jaime and Miguel, or as we know them, Denver and Rio, the masterminds behind the heist to restore justice. Perhaps we can even draw some similarities between shows. Both Nano and Denver are convicts waiting to start a new life, and Christian and Rio share a hopeless crush on a girl that has no happy ending. Want to see more familiar faces between the series? Remember the detective investigating Polo's death? She played the wife of Arturo Roman in Money Heist. And what about the school principal and Anders' mom? She looked just like Angel's wife, Mari Carmen. But. Were you actually paying attention while you were watching Elite? The directors of the show had fun messing with the audience and threw in some Easter eggs for the most loyal fans. Let's roll the clip from Episode 5 in Season 2 during the Halloween party. Nano walked by people who were wearing masks from Casa de Papel. <laughs> nice one, Elite crew! Number 3. Plot stolen from Gossip Girl? Before the Elite series was even released, the press kept speculating that the trailer was giving off Gossip Girl vibes, and its plot was way too similar. A second-to-none school in the city, class clashes between the wealthy and less privileged students, plus relationship drama. In an interview, the producer of the show, Carlos Montenero, named his favorite TV shows, which may have influenced Elite, and among them were Gossip Girl, Animal Kingdom, Shameless, and Breaking Bad. All these series have passed through our script table, said Montenero. After the release of the first season, viewers saw the uniqueness of the plot. Elite sheds light on the social issues in Spain from a different perspective. It touches upon the topics of teenage life, urban corruption, immigration, and social inequality with a twist in the form of a thriller. Small side note, keep watching to see how Dana Paola almost lost her part in the show. Now, back to number 4 posh school or an actual university. Although Las Encinas is a fictional school, that fantastic outdoor exterior is an actual campus of the European University of Madrid, just 10 miles from the city center. The funniest part is that not a single scene was shot inside the uni. All classrooms were constructed on set. The production crew made sure to film away from any curious eyes. When asked why most of the outdoor scenes were shot in small towns like San Lorenzo de El Escorial and Guadarrama, lead actress Mina, aka Nadia in the series, replied that downtown Madrid is way too crowded and people would not let them shoot in peace. Fair enough, Mina. I would rush to you myself if I had the chance. Number 5. It's on Escamila and the trouble he attracts. A couple of months ago, the Elite actors finally went on their season 3 tour across Spain. On the road to a new destination, the cast revealed that Itzan gets hit a lot in the new season, which definitely was a trigger for the actor. Escamela replied saying that he attracts trouble in every single movie he shoots. The truth is, I always get hit. I haven't done any project in my life where I haven't been hit, I swear. His genuine frustration made his whole crew break out laughing. Poor Itzan. 
Speaking of bad luck, let's talk number six. Lucretia went straight to spam? Can you imagine the show without our beloved and mischievous Dana Paola? Well, the actress was actually very close to missing her chance. The email with the Netflix audition call went straight to Dana's spam folder. Luckily, Paola was checking her emails from fans and retrieved the message. She later shared her story with her co-star, Miguel Bernardo, who hasn't stopped teasing her about it ever since. Dana nailed the audition and was not afraid to show it off. The Elite star posted it for the whole world to see on her Instagram account and received praise. No doubt, Paola was definitely cast for a reason. On top of that, Dana played an important part in developing her character and was the one behind the darling catchphrase, querida in Spanish, which the crew incorporated into the script. Stay tuned to hear some steamy details about her pool scene with Miguel Bernardo. Number 7. The effort behind the chemistry. When watching Omar and Anders' scenes together, we always sigh in awe. Nobody can deny that the two make a perfect couple, despite all the drama they went through and the differences in their upbringings. But the chemistry between these two is not without some work, quite the opposite. In an interview, Aron and Omar admitted that in the beginning of the show, they would spend the day before the actual shoot rehearsing their scenes to make their intimacy seem authentic. This helped them break the ice. But what Omar Ayuso was not prepared for was their sex scene. In an interview, Omar said he was really confused when everyone was talking about some sock that was necessary for the shoot. Poor thing had no idea he had to stuff his pants with it for the scene. There's no one else above us, it's just you bueno, and me. Entonces, ¿qué? ¿Follamos? Just imagine the expression on his face when the crew brought him a sock cut in half and hair scrunchie to secure it. The rest of the cast admitted that every one of them had trouble not breaking their character when shooting such scenes. Number 8. In character off-screen? Imagine receiving texts from Eron Piper or befriending Dana Paola. A dream to die for, am I right? The Elite actors became very close family during the shoot and revealed that to maintain close at all times, they created a secret group chat just for their cast called Elite Pon, where all the fun and meme exchanges happen. Omar Ayuso said in an interview that everybody has a special nickname in the chat. The guys decided to switch Esther Exposito's name to Marquesita, which directly corresponds to her character in the series. And Esther doesn't mind it at all. Number 9. The Age Restrictions Speaking of Esther and her character, let's mention the not-so-PG-13 content of the Elite series. Despite the characters being 16 years old at the start of the series, the producers of Elite were determined to hire adult actors, over 20 years old, for the rules to avoid possible production restrictions. Carlos Montero said, they wanted to hire older actors and be able to shoot at night when necessary and have full freedom to film nude scenes according to the script. That all changed when they saw Esther Exposito's audition tape, which she filmed when she was 17. Ay, por favor, de verdad. Wow, de verdad. The producers were impressed by Esther's talent and impressive acting, and she landed the role of Carla, who is, as we know, one of the most scandalous characters on the show. Luckily, she turned 18 before the start and was able to nail every scene in the script. Number 10. The pool scene and a massive flop. Remember I said intimate scenes were tough for the cast to film? <laughs> yep. A real bummer happened when Miguel and Dana were shooting their pool scene. The two were kissing underwater, and it took way too much effort to execute it with perfection. The shoot was super intense. The two had to hold their breath and kiss at the same time while trying not to float back to the surface. Miguel and Dana did 15 takes before Miguel cut Dana's lip with his teeth, unintentionally. He says it was an accident. I say, who else would be able to contain themselves in front of Dana Paola, right? Number 11. Scenes that never aired. Remember the hot, steamy moment when Guzman and Nadia lost their minds and went all crazy in the locker room? That one moment almost stripped any hope for a better future for Nadia. Well, during an interview, Miguel revealed that the scene was actually way more provocative and revealing, but editors cut it out for ethical reasons. The thing is that the crew, and Mina's character in particular, 
have never faced backlash and negative comments for representing a distorted image of Muslim culture. That's why the scenes were edited before the release of season two. The crew considered the comments and decided to produce content that was more respectful toward the community. Well done! Number 12. Netflix is Elite's ultimate supporter. The Elite series is all about representation and showcasing social inclusion. One of the important issues covered in the show is the LGBTQI plus storyline, one of which is portrayed by a gay couple, Omar and Ander. After Netflix posted an image of the two on its Instagram, people filled the comment section with pretty homophobic sayings. Some insisted saying, get the f off my Instagram. Not every person on the planet is gay. You're trying way too hard. But Netflix publicists did not hesitate and clapped back, sending dozens of rainbows. Sorry, couldn't read your comment while surrounded by all these rainbows. People applauded Netflix for doing the right thing. Way to go, Netflix! Number 13. Farewell. Let's share this bittersweet memory from the end of season 3 without sobbing. After shooting their final scenes, the Elite crew decided to celebrate the end of their season with uncorking champagne, mad dancing, and a mariachi band. A bit over the top, but a very Elite cast-like celebration. Some actors went even further and got married. Hell yeah! Dana Paola proposed to Esther Exposito, and Miguel Bernardo and Alvaro Rico followed them and did the same for the sake of the joke. Both couples secured their unions with a kiss, and we can't deny it, we want friendships as strong as that. The Elite cast has the best memories, and we can't get enough of them. But are we gonna see them all together again? That remains a mystery for us. In January, the season was renewed for a fourth and fifth season, but a new cast was promised too. Who's leaving the cast is kept a secret, although some actors spilled some details on the upcoming season. Jorge Lopez said, a couple of seasons for me and Valerio is perfect. His co-star Georgina Amoros, who plays Cayetana, said, third season is where the cycle is completed. Another one starts. Do both of them mean their storylines will no longer be developed in the series? Or are they playing with their feelings? We will see. We are all waiting for Christian to be back in 2021, and it's all about him getting revenge. Is he going to pay back Carla's father for nearly killing him? Will he forgive his best friend for stealing his girlfriend? I am predicting a great rivalry between Christian and Samuel. And we know from the past how these things end in Elite. Let us know in the comments below which Elite member you miss the most. Share your predictions for Season 4. And as always, stay awesome!